Well, what would you like the girls to take away from their experience with the Romeo Varsity Soccer Program? Uh, I, I, the biggest thing I want them to look back on and think like Romeo soccer was a can't miss experience. Like they had the best times of their lives, whether they were winning, losing, or drawing um, from the year from when they were freshmen to seniors. Um, and we just really want it to be an experience that they tell other people in their family community that Romeo soccer is a can't miss experience. We didn't win every game. Uh, we didn't lose every game, but we still had the time of our lives in it. Um, and that's kind of what we really want them to take away. Okay. Well, let's dive into the season. Uh, as of the 30th of April, uh, you guys are ranked 10th in the state by the, uh, the MHSAA, mm -hmm. uh, well, it's pretty good. And you, you know, you've had a little speed bump since then, but but uh, you're still highly ranked in the state. And uh, you start a season off with like nine games where you, you shut your opponents out and, you know, you won five and, and tied four. Uh, that's, talk a little bit about what that meant to have that kind of start. Yeah, it was an extremely hot start at one point. I think we were 17 goals, four, zero against, like you said, through about nine games. Um, and that brings a certain air of confidence to a team. Um, it certainly is fun as far as experiencing it when you have something else on the line. We started, we came up with something called Mission Zero after we went about three games where we were going to go. Our mission was to go as far as possible without giving up a goal. Um, and at that point in the season, actually, all three of our teams, Varsity, JVA, and JVB, had not given up a goal seven to nine games into the season. Um, so that was a program wide thing. Mission Zero, we said the last team to give up a goal. Uh, would get t-shirts that said Mission Zero across them. So it added that extra little layer of motivation to every team and kind of an inner, inner program competition going on. We were all obviously hoping no one was going to give up goals and we would all get t-shirts. Um, <laughs> but at, it, kind of at the same time, we all, around the ninth or 10th game, ended up giving one up. Um, so we'll have to figure out exactly how that's going to work out. Well, you then hit uh, 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 a game in Rochester where you guys lost one nothing was a close game could a couple of breaks could have been the opposite um well how, how did the team react when they finally lost the game um you know this is a really resilient team um they've lost games before um, so it, it was obviously a, a huge disappointment, A, because we, we added a couple layers to it. We, we gave up that mission zero. Um, we also lost a game. Um, but, you know, we factored in that it, it was a 25-minute half game, um, so it was shortened along with the rest of the games that weekend. It was a, a small tournament-style thing. So there was a lot of factors involved. Um, yeah, a few breaks uh, either way and could have been a different result altogether. All Exactly. Um, so, it, you know, like I said, it, it was a learning experience. Oftentimes I say you can learn more through losses than you can through wins. You hope those lessons come earlier in the season rather than later in the playoffs. Um, so not all was lost, even though, um, yeah, of course, we were a little bit disappointed to, to drop that one. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, you must have learned a lesson because you came back and, and uh you beat Gross Point North and bounce back with a win. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Rochester, what it was, is, and will be the number one team in the state moving forward through the rest of the season, which is highly likely. Um, so again, we, we, we felt a different level of competition from them, um, and it kind of sprung us forward and woke us up a little bit to what else is out there other than what we had seen so far. Uh, we did bounce back again with a nice win against Gross Point North, one nothing. Um, and then we, we actually fell into a little bit of a rut after that, which we're kind of in the moment yeah, right a couple now. Of, I mean, a couple of tough teams, Eisenhower and, and Lake Orion, uh, and they weren't, you didn't get blown out. It was two to one, two to one, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it was very close games. Uh, again, it, talk to those two losses there and the, the way the team reacted after, especially after that second one to Lake Orion.